Hey, what's happening? I'm Brian Reich from Reich Consulting. And today I need to import um, all the US tax rates into a new WooCommerce site. And there's a special plugin that I have to thank for making this a really easy task. And taxrates.com, I'd like to thank for making all of the current US tax rates easy to download. So uh, go ahead and follow along and I'll show you how to get all of the United States tax rates into your WooCommerce sites in about four or five minutes. The very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to log into our WordPress dashboard and you should be familiar with your WordPress login URL and your username and password. I'm blanking that all out here because this is actually a client's website. All right, now once we're at the dashboard, the absolute easiest way that I have found to import all the United States tax rates into WooCommerce is to go to plugins, add new. Obviously we're doing this through a plugin and we're going to search for tax rate upload. Okay, and we'll install that plugin and we'll activate that plugin. All right, now that plugin is updated or activated. So now we're going to, in a new tab, go to taxrates.com. We're going to download tax tables. And look at this, it gives us all of the states in the United States. And what we're going to do is just go through and click all of these and it's going to download the tax tables for all of these states. Um, I've already downloaded them ahead of time, so I'm not gonna do that, but trust me, you click this, it's gonna download a CSV file, all right? Now, since we have our files downloaded and we have the tax import plugin installed, if we go to settings, tax rate upload, back in our WordPress dashboard, Right here, we can import one of those CSV files. And here's the secret sauce that's gonna make this go real quick. We're actually going to open a bunch of tabs with this tax rate upload form. So I'm going to control click the tax rate upload option in the WordPress dashboard. And now I've got a bunch of tabs opening up to that tool. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is open up my folder that has my tax rate uploads, which is, oh, that's downloads, there we go. There they all are. And I'm gonna go across here and starting with the very first one, I'm going to select it, click add tax rate. I'm going to go to the next one, select it, add tax rate. Select it, add tax rate. Be nice if they gave us a bulk upload, but they don't. So we'll just keep doing it this way. And finally, once all of our tabs are done spinning, that means that all of our files are done uploading. And if we go back to the WooCommerce settings option and go to tax and go to standard rates, we should see a ton of tax rates being displayed. Here we go. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, once we have all those standard rates in and we have uh, taxes configured properly under the taxes tab, um, WooCommerce should start calculating taxes appropriately based on the user's shipping address. So that's pretty much all there is to it. You know, there's a lot of clicking around there to get it done, but it goes very quickly if you open up a couple of tabs to do it. So, all right, thanks for watching. Catch you later.